Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we do have a brand new update for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, and this is in fact a huge and chunky update that makes this phone much better. Now, real quick before that, if you do want to download the wallpaper that you just saw in the very beginning, which is this one right over here, okay, it's a gorgeous video wallpaper for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. I'm gonna drop a link down below, you can click the link and you can download this wallpaper for free. Fantastic wallpaper. Now let's dive in and look at that our update. So if I go to my settings over here on the top, you are gonna see a brand new software is now available. Uh, you have the option to do later or now, okay? I'm just gonna go down straight down over here, okay? All the way down, tap on software update, tap on download and install, and quickly show you guys uh, how big this update is. This is 1.3 gigabytes and also includes the May 1st security patch. And if you do go up here, we get some information as to what's new. So there's gonna be a big performance improvement to the camera module. And they're also talking about enhanced quick share. So I'm gonna update this. I'm gonna be right back and show you guys what's going on. All right, so let me click install now. I'm gonna be right back once the phone is up to date. All right, so the software is now up to date. Now real quick, I'm gonna go to my settings. I'm gonna go all the way down into my uh, about phone right over here. And I'm gonna click on software information. Now if I go all the way down, I can click on this one right here, the Android security patch level, and I can get the details of exactly what that security patch for the May 1st is if you are in fact interested in that kind of stuff. You just scroll down a little bit, you click on Samsung, and it shows you exactly what has been fixed uh, in this change log right over here. Okay, so that's number one. Now number two, we have enhancements to the quick share option. Remember, when we go in here to the software update and tap on the last update, it says enhanced quick share, improve file sharing between Galaxy devices using the quick share option. Now that option is gonna be right over here, okay? Quick share option, press and hold, it gives you the uh, information. So it's gonna be more faster and efficient to receive and send files between two Galaxy devices using the quick share and one of the reasons they did an update to this one a big chunky update under the hood is because the new samsung laptops are coming out and you are going to have that ability to uh, transfer files between the samsung laptops and the samsung galaxy smartphones easily and instead of using the nearby share feature which should be right here okay that's for all android smartphones you are going to be using the quick share option among Galaxy devices for the best results. So that's been updated for that as well, okay? So let's press and hold, I just turned it on. You can see that we get a little bit extra menu here, but most of the updates are under the hood. Now the next thing is the camera. Now, camera has received a huge update. There's not gonna be any new features. Let me sh tell you what's better. So when you launch the camera, first and foremost, it's gonna be even smoother now to operate. Okay, look at that, uh, much, much smooth. But now you have faster focusing capabilities, better zoom stabilization, and capture at higher zooms. And of course you have HDR improvements and more. So your photos are basically gonna uh, start to come out even better, which is great. Unfortunately, Samsung does not specify exactly what is different, but those are the things that I heard are in fact better. So the camera has definitely gotten better. And finally, uh, there is a huge update to the performance of the overall phone, to the smoothness, to the fluidity of the animations. So everything just uh, feels even smoother now. Now these phones don't have any lag anymore uh, with the latest Samsung flagships, uh, but you can always refine the interface so it feels even smoother. So when I launch an application, okay, when I go back, it's just smoother. And of course, if you go to your settings, uh, if you're the type of guy that uses, uh, let me go to display, Go to navigation over here. If you're using swipe gestures, uh, they are simply going to work better. Let me just enable these guys. Let me uh, turn this off for a second. Go to swipe gestures, okay? Let's wait for that to kick in. So the swipe gestures are now gonna be even better. Animations are faster and smoother, and that's great. Look at that, okay? Pretty fast. All right, so that's basically a, a huge cluster of an update giving you all kinds of enhancements 
under, under the hood and also to the performance of the smartphone as well as the latest security patch. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you have noticed something I have not talked about, uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.